Hello! It's Hello. Chris Dante, and, I, and I'm here with my friend, Don Colossi. I feel like I know you forever. I know, I know, like 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 old kindred souls. Yeah, well, not too old. So oh, well, not me. <laughs> yeah, I just got the hair touched up, so I'm feeling a little bit younger. So, Don, I have a surprise for you. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a little bit of a mystic. Did you know that? No, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Not only am I the world's most connected man, mindful cyborg, but I'm also a techno pagan. Let me explain this to you. So for the last 10 years, I've been flying around the world, going to events. I have a fortune teller booth we ship. But since the pandemic, I've actually been doing it remote. And the way it works is this. People send me their phone screen, just their home screen. And I look at it and tell them about their lives and what they value and what's important. What do you think? Well, that sounds really interesting. Would it be okay, really if, you sent me your, would it be okay if you sent me your phone right now and I can try to read it? Sure. That sounds right. fun. So shoot me your screen and okay. I'll see if I get it. You know, you got my text number, right? Yes. Okay. Now, for those of you watching at home while Dawn's doing this, you literally can go to phonepalmistry.com and upload yours. You don't have to text me, but Dawn's going to te- text me. Dawn, I got it. You have Thank it. you so much. You are so fast. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people just don't know how to like get stuff quickly. So uh, I've got your phone here coming up. And then can you see it? I can. Okay, this is so exciting. First off, the, the first thing I noticed, and are you right-handed? I am. Right-handed. So the first thing I noticed is your messages is farthest up and to the left-hand side. And because you're left-handed, that means you are you have to actually, some effort to get to those messages because it's on the side of the screen. So you're someone who's very deliberate about your communication. Let's probably say you're in communications of some sort. Uh, or at least you're very thoughtful about it. But more importantly, around your messages icon, you've got calendar, photos, and camera. And that means you're also very considerate of the environment and how messages are delivered. So it's not just kind of getting it out there, but it's getting out there where and when. But more amazingly about your screen, you've got so many good things going on. Lower right-hand side, you've got LinkedIn. So usually things that are closest to us toward the bottom and our, our thumb are things that are super important. So you've got a LinkedIn and Slack. So you're really someone who thinks a lot about making sure you're very deliberate and focused on the task at hand. In this case, it might be work. You're also someone who focuses on measurement. Uh, you may not use the measurement app. You often think about metrics a lot. But my favorite part of this is you've got the music and Safari right underneath there. So you're someone who also has, likes to have fun while you're doing this. Absolutely bread and butter type fun. You really think about those things. Last but not least, the thing I love most about your phone is you've got all these unread messages. I'm proud of you. I just have to say I'm kind of blown away. And that usually, whenever someone's got a bunch of unread messages, it means that they're not overwhelmed by information. They actually, um, they're, they're very thoughtful, methodical about making sure things get done in an order. A lot of people need to have zero inbox to turn off those messages, but you, phone calls, emails, they can be there. You know what you're doing. Things are good to go. What do you think? I think you're pretty close. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't read every message and I, um, you know, I, I am, I'm, I'm very deliberate on, on what I take and, and, and the environmental factors are what I'm noticing most about this. I mean, again, you've got this great picture of, I think the gateway to the West, which again, there's a lot of some symbolism just in the arch itself up in the arch. You've actually got the compass app. Again, you might not use the compass all a lot, but it's literally up in the arts. So you're thinking about direction. I think there's actually some, you know, major career uh, movement in your life, you know, in the last year or so, uh, probably a lot more coming up. It's just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I That's have a spot little... on. Thank you. I think, you know, yeah. I do this. I've actually read Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey from Twitter. So Mark from Twitter and or Mark Jack from Twitter, Jack Dorsey and Mark from Facebook. Yeah. So I but just I, moved, I just got to Suffer AG about six months ago. So that, that wait was, a minute, that you're new? It. I am brand new. Okay. Now I'm embarrassed. I did not yeah. know that. They just told me yeah. I was going to read someone's phone. <laughs> What do you do at well, Software I mean, AG? I'm, I, I am the chief marketing officer. Oh my God, I hate when I'm acting a fool and I actually have an executive on the, on the line. <laughs> I'm and supposed to be more, more polished than this, but I'm not. I, it's okay. I, I just play one during the day. I'm not really an executive. Okay. And I just play a psychic on TV. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so listen, I have a bigger surprise for you. So the way I do this is I just look at phones and I kind of like 
I get a feeling for where the icons are. Just kind of, a, you know, sometimes you can look at wallpaper and you know, do they have a lot of icons. I actually have another phone that was sent to me before our meeting today. And I was asked to have you read it. Would you want to take a, take a, take a little stab at it? Sure, I'm a pretty quick learner. Let's see if I can do it. All right, let me, let me pull it up here. All right, so let's get ready. We've got another phone. Again, I don't know. Actually, I do know it's in the email, but I'll figure it out while you're looking at the phone. So hopefully. So this is it. This is this other person's phone, radically different than yours. Wow. Uh, but also very similar because of even the message placement. Okay, what do you think? Um, well, the, the message placement in that right uh, top right-hand corner and the fact, mm -hmm. obviously, it's not, I think, 45,000 like where mine were, but still deliberate communication here. It's very, what strikes me is it's very neat and orderly, right? Mm. This looks like somebody who really has control over their day, over their life, um, keeps things very neat. You notice the background is simple, um, no clutter. So I, I think I think this um, is a very methodical uh very orderly person who, um, you know, probably does a really good job at what they do. Right. Okay. So let me see. So this person, I got the email here is, uh, this is, oh, this is Elka Frank. So I think she's, I think she well, actually thank God. is, a, is she an executive also? Yeah. So Elka is our CHRO. So thank okay. goodness um, that this would reflect exactly what I would think Elka's phone would look like. And I'm so glad that I, um, yeah, I, you know, I read that well, cause that could have been a little bit scary. You know what I noticed about this right away? Uh, there's the home screen isn't completely full. I always look for that because whenever someone has like a little room for more, there's like, there's a little room for more. Well, what I didn't notice until you said it was Elka's is that some of the icons are in German and some are in English. So that's that was that's interesting too. But I didn't I didn't get that on the first read. I did not even think to look at the language. Isn't that crazy? I always look at the icon pictures just to like I don't know. Yeah, like, but even though I know what photos is, and, yeah, yeah. So You're right, interesting, right? Oh, okay. This is too good. You have to go on the road with me. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, I don't know if trade shows are going to be my first stop when I get on a plane, but we'll see. Trust me, they're never my favorite either. Um, speaking of on the road, I have a, a little bit of a update. I'm sure you know, too. We have an event coming up in the future, don't we? A big one, a really big one. Yes, we have big connections one. October 5th, 6th, and 7th. And we're very excited it. about it. Yeah. So if you're watching at home, two things you can do right now. First thing, you can register for connections October 5th, 6th, and 7th at the link somewhere around this video. Uh, we'll make sure that happens. And the second thing is if you enjoyed this, you can upload your phone today at phonepalmistry.com in either myself or Dawn. Dawn, would you help me read some more phones? Absolutely. <laughs> and we will we'll read it. It's completely anonymous. You don't have, you don't, we don't ask for your name. You just upload a screen. And if you want to see some more phones that are read, you can see some examples so you can download your phone. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's can all part of- I give you a list of, of the ones that I want to see? Yes, please do. Who? <laughs> who? Who? Tell me, tell me, tell me. No, I don't. I, I'm just trying to make trouble. <laughs> oh, okay. We shouldn't do that. We get in trouble. Um, so again, that's October 5th, 6th, and 7th. Uh, truly Connected World for Connection uh, 2021. Uh, register, or you can upload your phone. Dawn, thank you so much for doing this with me today. Thank you, Chris. It really, really was fun. Very fun. You're so good. I'll talk to you soon, Dawn. See you at the Connections. Take care. Absolutely. Bye. Bye.